For today's video, we're going to do a ramp test so we can figure out the perfect focal point for our lasers. And recently I posted a video where we made this uh, handy dandy focus gauge and we're going to use that while doing it. Welcome to the channel. I'm Dave. So this picture on the screen, uh, I drew that myself, so don't laugh. Uh, but it is a representation of your laser nozzle and lens and your beam. So the lens is up inside the nozzle and the distance from that lens to the work surface is your focal length. Uh, the smallest point of the laser beam is your focal point. And that's where you'll get the best cuts and the best engravings. And by doing this ramp test, uh, we'll be able to figure out exactly what that is. And then you can use that focus gauge as you change between different materials. And you can stay on track every time. It makes it a lot easier, uh, certainly than what I've been doing. I've been stacking up wood and, and using that crazy leg on the side of the laser. It gets frustrating. Don't always work. Uh, so this will be a lot better. So we're going to just pull this out of the way. And then we're going to draw some lines. So I have a board set up already. I'm just going to get to my camera and take a picture of it. Okay, so I have this board set up. And what I've got is I've tested it at different heights. So this block holding it up, and I'll show it closer uh, in the laser, but it's an inch thick. But I started out at three eighths of an inch and then went to five eighths and finally an inch because you want the best representation of the lines so you can determine the thinnest portion of that line and then that'll be your focus uh, this board is just uh, basswood uh, one and a half millimeters thick and uh, it's 12 inches long all right so let's uh Let's just grab the pencil tool and draw a line. And then we'll make that line uh, 10 inches should do it. So I'll just make it 10. We got pretty close to start with. And you want to do a few of these. I know my eyes will trick me and I'll have to look at it several times. In fact, I've got a magnifying glass to look at it with. So, just move your laser over there. However, you can uh, you can use your positioning tool in light burn and just move it over there. And then do you can do a frame on all of them. Whatever you need to do to get to that. Uh, to get it in the right position, do that. And the settings, uh, I've got a 40 watt laser and I'm going to make those lines a fill. I'm going to turn all these other things off that I've got for my drawing. Uh, so I've got a fill, I mean a line uh, at 50. 50 millimeters per second and a power of 40 percent that's what worked out best for me previously so we're going to give that a try and i will pop in a video of the uh, uh, laser and how the setup looks and then we'll come back and hit this uh, start and send the code over all right folks i'll be right back okay so here we are in the laser and you want to have your laser just barely off of the wood on the top side of the ramp. So, like I said, I've got a one inch block. I've got this 12 inch piece of uh, basswood. Make sure that it's, uh, it's not warped. You want a straight piece. And you can try it with different materials. You may get a different result and you uh, probably will as you change materials. I've got magnets holding it in place, top and bottom. And I've got the board taped onto the block. So it's uh, it's probably best to just 
to get your your distance here uh, first and then go back to home and then then get your lines going and then do a frame on that and you should be good okay so I'm gonna send the code over I'm not gonna turn on the uh, the fan or the uh, the air air supply and uh, we'll see we'll see what this comes out to be Okay, there's our lines, uh, and it is a line, it's not a fill. Uh, be sure not to do a fill, but you do want to do it like a, a, a score or an engrave. You don't want it to, uh, you don't want it to cut through the board. So, I've got my magnifying glass here. And your eyes may be good enough to see it. To start with, this thing's got a light on it. It's pretty fancy. And then I'm just going to find the spot that looks the thinnest. Because it's thicker up here, and then it gets thicker again down at the bottom. So somewhere here in the middle is that thinnest part of the line. And I already know what mine is, but I'm going to say for this one, it's about right here. And then you can look at those other lines and make sure it's in the same place or close by. It shouldn't be on one way up here and then down here on the next one. I mean, you could average them out, but something's wrong if that happens so they should all be right in here close by like that somewhere in there and you could take those three and average them together but really all you want to do is once you're you're pretty sure where that's at just get your laser head back over directly on top of that and then take the focus gauge and put underneath it and that's coming out at six and i've been floating between six and seven lately and i know previously on most occasions i was close to 10. i was using this thing and you know trying to use that crazy leg on the side it's uh i don't use it anymore Let's see what this last one is. So, just a little over six. So, between six and seven is is my best focus. Uh, and, you know, that can have something to do with a dirty lens. This one ain't dirty. But your focus can change. Uh, it certainly changes with materials. And it can change with uh, your lens being dirty. Uh, a lot of factors in there. So, I will put a link... To, to the video so you can go make this if you like pretty easy to make but still it's a, it's a real handy tool to have so if this was helpful uh, I really would appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe uh, the channel's growing but it could certainly use some more and it'll keep me in the shop keep me doing this kind of stuff I like doing it uh, I like learning things about the lasers and uh, light burn and sharing it with you folks so, and I appreciate all the comments and questions. And if, if you like, you can tell me what you're working on. I'd like to hear. And uh, anything you might need help with, I'll be glad to help out. Just let me know. Okay, folks, we'll uh, just take care. Check back often for new videos. And we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.